Well, it's been 10 days since a ferry with hundreds of people on board capsized off Korea's southwestern coast. And as the details leading up to the accident emerge in the following days, more experts have raised questions about what caused the ship to sink. Now, one of them is maritime safety expert Kevin Doherty, and he joins us live on the line. Kevin is a former U.S. Marine and currently president of a maritime safety security firm based in Arlington, Virginia. Kevin, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you say that the sinking of this Seolo and the tragic loss of lives was a preventable final link in a systematic fatal chain of errors dating back months. Now, what makes you say that? Well, uh, some of the reports that we've seen come out, um, uh, the, the ship was uh, retrofitted back in February with some additional passenger um, uh, uh, accommodations, uh, which were at the highest levels, raising the center of gravity. Uh, there was some uh, uh, two weeks prior to the vessel uh, leaving port, the crew reported that their steering system had a um, uh, uh, no voltage report. Um, there was just a, a number of systemic issues with regards to um, the, the fitness of that vessel uh, uh, to sail. Right. So apparently, uh, so many critical factors that were overlooked. Now, what is the general procedure in terms of safety and security checks before before a ship sets off sail? I mean, how are they followed in in other countries? Well, the initial uh, j just the fact of the, the retrofitting, adding the additional weight, as well as raising the center of gravity, should have called for a thorough uh, uh, audit from the flag states. Um, in addition, uh, the cargo uh, being loaded would have been uh, supervised by port state control. Um, there were just a number of checks and balances that uh, should have caught uh, a number of these, these uh, links. All right. Um, so uh, you are saying that you're among those experts who believe that this was actually a preventable uh, cause or preven preventable tragedy, excuse me, that could have been, that could have saved many more lives. All right. Kevin Doherty, a U.S.-based maritime security expert, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you for having me.